Good morning guys. I will be at the beach at about 6.15, 6.30 today. You can see that sunrise is at 5.55 today and that the low tide was at 4.44. I want to get there and run the drone over uh, Sandy Bay just before the beach cleaners get there. The beach cleaners are due there at 10 a.m. Uh, obviously they do a fantastic job there's uh, no doubt about that and I'm sure that we all appreciate it however in this particular video we're going to be looking at who is actually responsible for the beaches particularly Sandy Bay and Treco Bay so an article this year dated Thursday the 27th of June 2024 by Bridgend County Borough Council headline reading enjoy the coast stay safe and help keep beaches clean this summer and I quote Bridgend County Borough Council will be working alongside a host of partners to ensure that residents tourists and visitors can enjoy the coastline of Bridgend County Borough this summer Organizations such as the RNLI, the National Coast Guard, Puthcall Lifeguards, Puthcall Town Council, Surfers Against Sewage, Keep Wales Tidy, and community volunteer groups who I just mentioned, all play an important role in keeping people safe or making sure that Puthcall Seafront area beaches and bays remain clean and pleasant to visit. However, in another article entitled Looking After the Coast at Sandy Bay, a BCBC states, and I quote, BCBC is only allowed to spend public money on land that is not privately owned and maintained. This is because of the way it is funded. The Sandy Bay, Coney Beach and Treco Bay area of Puthcall causes a lot of confusion. It is often assumed that the council has responsibility for this entire stretch of coastline. However, this is not the case. The responsibility is as follows. The dotted lines on the map show the land that is maintained by Bridgend County Borough Council. Most of the beach and land to the left of this area is maintained by the owners of Coney Beach Funfair. A smaller section is maintained by the owners of the High Tide. The beach and land to the right of the dotted lines are maintained by Treco Bay Caravan Park. BC, BC also says, and I quote, We regularly empty the 220 bins in the Puthcall area, but dealing with litter is often difficult. A lot of it arrives with the tide or is created overnight during busy bank holidays and other periods when staff are not on duty. Subtitle, How the Council is Dealing with Litter. The council is dealing with litter in the Sandy Bay area in the following ways. Collecting litter from the areas it is responsible for. Funding an additional weekly litter picking group. Working closely with local groups including Surfers Against Sewage, Puthcore Lifeguards, Keep Wales Tidy and more. Adding bins along the Reich Point Road that runs through the top of the Sandy Bay site between Traco Bay, the High Tide and Funfair, contacting local businesses to discuss ways to deal with the problem, encouraging visitors to dispose of their rubbish responsibly. So I launched the drone at 6.15. There's hardly anybody around, really nice and quiet. And to be honest with you guys, I don't know what all the fuss is about. Okay, there's a few bits and bobs around some of the eatery places. But, overall, 
the beach looks pretty clean. Um, it might have been a quiet day yesterday, but I don't know what all the fuss is about. I mean, considering it's a holiday resort and there's thousands of people around, it looks pretty good to me. Here we are, me and the drone, searching for rubbish. <laughs> anyway, guys, comment down below. Let us know what you think. The big surprise of doing this video was, as far as the responsibility goes, for Sandy Bay, Coney Beach, and for Treco Bay. I don't know why, in my ignorance, I assumed they were all under Bridge End Borough Council. But apparently, according to Bridge End Borough Council, the responsibility lies elsewhere. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll catch you next time, guys.